Hey, I just want to show off some of these, you know, I don't know what they're called, like string tie enclosures, I think. Anyway, I have been obsessed with making these ever since I got my crocodile from We Are Memory Keepers and these eyelets and these little charms and bracelets from Happy Mail. So I just want to show you what I've created. Um, I'll do it in chronological order, actually. So this was the very first one I did. And um, let's open it up. I got this idea from Natasha at Treasure Books. She did something similar and then glued on some like journaling spots inside. And I thought I would do the same thing. And that's where this got from. I had this terrible idea to use ink to try to dye my string. And it's like, just, it looks disgusting. So you live, you learn. Um, and it kind of started uh, staining the envelope itself. So um, I was like, okay, I'm not doing that again. And then I got this, um, just a little bit of um, beads from four for a dollar bin that I got at the fabric store near my house. So yeah, that's the first one. I got this um, paper from um, the Vintage Ephemera hardcover that was on clearance at a bookstore. Um, and it's really cool. It's um, just an old London bus ad. It's really cool. And then the next one I made was one of these two. I can't remember, but they're both pretty similar. Um, I actually used um, jump junk mail envelope for these. So that was very exciting. Let's start with this one. I covered it with more of that vintage ephemera book page um, and also mixed it with um, this really nice music sheet book that I, from a book that I got. And the paper of the music sheet is really, really like thick. Like it's a, it's a nice quality paper. It's like not as thick as like cardboard, but it has like a nice heft to it, which I really like. Um, and then I just used, for this one, I used the scrap pages from this page to create the, the circling enclosures. And then more um, eyelets here. And then it just opens up and it's, uh, it's a little envelope with a little window, which I really think is cool. So um, I'm gonna giving that, be, be giving that to a friend. And I just thought it like had a nice little, you know, matching moment with this um, bead, it almost, uh, it kind of reminded me of a um, bus, bus wheel. And so I thought that was kind of cool. And this one, I, um, I think it was, a, I think this was a Tim Holtz cardboard collection. One of, one of, one of the paper collections that he has. Um, the one that might've been um, like, kind of like this, about this, this size, not, not the full size ones. And I, I think, it's, I, I don't know exactly what it is. Like, I keep wanting to think it's like a game, but I think it um, has to do with transit, I think. Um, but what I did was I used um, an old piece of scrapbook paper that I got from the scrap store, just one page, a 12, a, um, 12 by 12. And I glued it onto junk mail envelope, cut out the window portion so that you could see it on here and then um, just added a little bit of this page onto there so that it kind of has like a um, unifying theme and then I had the great idea of getting my circle punch and using the circle punch to cut out some of the numbers from that paper and using it as the actual circles for the enclosure and I thought I was so proud of myself because I thought that was such a great idea and it looks so good so um, this one, I just used two buttons that I thought kind of matched with it also. When I made these first three um, envelopes with tie string enclosures, I had not yet gotten a lot of like embroidery floss or twine. And so these two use the same one, which I'm not really happy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not like a fan of this. I think it's a kind of, I don't know, like it's kind of thick. And this one, I use wax twine from um, my book binding kit. So it's a little, it's a little, it feels a little weird. And this is the fourth one I made because I still had not gotten my embroidery floss. And I ended up, oh, or did I? No, actually, you know what? I did already. Okay. I think, I think I, I, there was another one I created that um, I, I'm not showing it to you guys right now. And that one I used, I know I used two, um, 
um, wax floss twice. But this one was from a, um, I think it was Hobby Lobby, a Hobby Lobby 12 by 12 book. And it was like half off and it was like this thick. It was like, like 36 pages in it. And it was so amazing. Like it was just like, every page was like craft page, but also like had like nice like vintage uh, motifs on it. And I, as soon as I got home, I just like used it right away. And I, and I kind of created, it kind of reminded me of a little like, um, like Southwest look, you know? Um, and so I added this piece of lace that I got from Happy Mail from a friend. And then I was like, you know, you, you, you see a lot of this, like this aquamarine turquoise color in th those, um, Southeast type, um, jewelry. And so I was like, let me use these, um, brads. And it was like, perfect. And so here, let's open it. And I put a little charm key on the edge of the, um, strings just to give a little coolness. And here, um, punched out a little thumb notch, I guess, using a half a circle punch. And here I took a page from an old book and I just stuck it here just to give it a little bit of interest, just so it wasn't just like um, a uniform craft paper look. And then I had this brilliant idea of switching the circles with each other to create sort of like a visual feast for the eyes in a, in a way. And then I used more of that craft envelope to create an expandable folder. So this is also an expandable folder, which is very cool. I got this um, tutorial also from Natasha at Treasure Books. So thank you for that, Natasha, my tech journal idol, so to speak. All right, so let's close that up. And then after making a few of these, I was like, you know, why stop at two? Why not three? And so <laughs> that's where these two came to me. I, um, I first created this one. And again, this is using that paper from um, the craft book, which, you know what? I want to show you guys because it's amazing. So give me a sec. Okay, so it's the Paper Studio Haberdashery design. 20 designs, three each, and it was $22, but it was half off. And like the paper inside is just like really, really good quality. When you fold it, it doesn't it doesn't like rip like um, the Michaels Recollections ones do. And look at look how beautiful these designs are. Like there's three of each one, and so you'll you know you'll be able to use it and still have some. Some have glitter, which uh, you'll see I use in a more subtle way. There's like collage effects. Um, like some embossed effects on it too, like shimmery embossed effects. Um, just, and it's a kind of, it's a very diverse collection, but also all tied together in theme, which I really, really like. And I mean, honestly, this is a great score for 11 bucks. Like you cannot go wrong with this. So if, um, and I think this was Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. If Hobby Lobby has the sale again, you should definitely stock up on this. This is the last one or else I probably would have gotten two. And I'm really happy with this um, purchase. And as soon as I got it, I was like really inspired to create stuff. All right, so <clears throat> this was the first one I created. And I used one of the pages and um, just created this extra long. And then I put three circles on it because I was like, you know, two is not enough. And I just thought it was so pretty to just, um, it in this like kind of like triangular manner and so I um, I used um, the 12 by 12 cut it in half so then it was two 12 by 6 pieces and then glued those together to create a really long like a really long cardboard that I then folded together to create this envelope and then I took a second piece which was this um, a second piece of paper which had this blue shimmer on it and that is what I used to kind of make the accent. So I used that to make these buttons. I used that to make this little pocket. And this little pocket is for when you have it open, you can either put, you know, um, I don't know, tags or whatever you want in there, or you stick your charm in there so that you don't have it like running around while you're looking at your product. And on the side, I also use the, that same paper with the 
with the glitter. So this used two pieces of 12 by 12, and I still have a lot of this left after, which I was able to use again um, as an accent for a different project. And inside, I just put a bunch of different little tags that I created using, this was, a, uh, I think this was like a, this was my first attempt at that expandable folder. So bonus, a bonus, um, item for to show you guys we're a little bit just collaging here and i thought i would create like a vertical style envelope so that's what this is and i would i just was just putting stuff in it and this is uh tags i created using um what was it what did they call those sewing patterns these are sewing patterns and i just wanted to create a little set because i thought it was really cute and i just wanted to fill this up because it's just such a huge expandable folder so this also has a little pocket here and also I stuck, when I pu punched this to put the eyelets in, I had the, the little extra holes and I thought it would be such a cute idea to subtly stick them up there. And so it kind of adds like a little bit of like interest. It looks like it's kind of like riveted on when it's not really, which I kind of think is a clever idea if I do see for myself. And in the back is a little pocket also, a little secret pocket that's kind of, Secret. Yeah, it's definitely subtle. Like, I had to ink the edges and you still can barely see it. So I ended up sticking this here to signal to people that there was a pocket back here also. But I might need to put a bigger one back there. So I might actually switch these to put this here instead. That way it's more obvious. Yeah, so then I was trying to figure out the best way to... So this was the first one I created and, you know, I kind of like looked at it and saw the issues that I had to fix on it. One of them being that it kinda, I think I made the top flap too short and so it was always like flapping open. So for this one, I just did the complete opposite and made it super long, which I actually like a lot better, uh, but I think I need to find a compromise somewhere in the middle. But I wanted to do this because I used that page from the craft paper from that 12 by 12 haberdashery and it had that giant chair. And I was like, there's no way I can cut this chair in half. Like that's, that wouldn't be right to the chair. It would be criminal almost. And so with this same one, I, as you can see, I used that same paper, the leftover for this. And I just thought it was like a cute idea to use it as a unifying theme here, kind of like royal tones for this one. And it was just so random to have like this glitter chair that I was just like, you know, let's just go for it. And these, I used two different charms for the string that I got as I got it. I got it uh, in my one of my video other videos. You can see I have I got happy mail and in one of the envelopes was a ton of really cute charms and I just wanted to start using them so I can give them to people. And I need to figure out the best way to tie things because I'm still kind of I'm not sure exactly how to tie charms and other things onto the edge of strings for like things like this so i definitely gotta watch more videos and tutorials on that so let's go ahead and open this and again this one i i kind of improved a little bit on it instead of this pocket which was a little hard to put stuff in i created sort of like a belly band loop and that way it goes in a lot more a lot more neat, neatly and um and won't like fall out unless you want it to so this one, I did a little bit more, as you can see. So I created, I used the brad for this top one and eyelets for the bottom two. So the top one, I put some blue, some um, round paper, kind of like a pad of paper to, you know, this journaling spot, put more collages on it, whatever you want to do. And then here, I put a little pocket, same as this one, but in this case, I used acetate and cut out the middle so that it became a see-through pocket, which I love. And this one, I did the same thing. See, so I love that this is like glitter chair and then glitter flatware. It's hilarious. Or glitter silverware, I guess. Uh, literally silverware. And then I also put expandable sides. And this was a different... Uh, page from that collection. And then the back, another pocket here, which I then, I actually, if I'm gonna be giving this to somebody, I need to start putting stuff in these so that they know that there's pockets everywhere. 
So yeah, so that is this one. And yeah, so these are all the ones I have made so far. I am obsessed. I love these so much. They're so cute. And they instantly, I feel like they instantly elevate the thing you are making. Don't you agree? So yeah, thank you, Cropodile, for that wonderful product that makes it easy for us normal consumers to make our own eyelets and things like this. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, have a good night.